The United Nations senior official, Ellen Margaret, commanded Japan on their contribution to unmiss and appeal for continued support. This came during a seven-hour visit by the Japanese Defense Minister on Saturday to Juba, South Sudan. Well, I appeal to the minister not to forget South Sudan and the mission. So I hope very much that Japan will continue to contribute with an engineering company to the mission. But I also took the liberty of appealing to the Honorable Minister that Japan continue their development work with South Sudan because the South Sudanese people really need it. Tomomi Inada, Japanese Defense Minister, is stressed on Japan's continuous support towards peacekeeping operations in South Sudan. Is speaking through an interpreter, the minister described her short visit as fruitful. It was a very fruitful visit as I was able to meet with various ministers from the government of South Sudan as well as the SRSG and was able to exchange our views on the situation of South Sudan. Tomomi said she is happy and motivated with what the Japanese contingent have been doing here in South Sudan. Especially, I am very happy to hear that the government officials, the SRSG and local residents are grateful about the roads that the Japanese contingent has fixed and the facilities that they have built and I am also very proud that the Japanese troops are highly motivated and have been working very hard. Inada is stressed on their commitment to continue to contribute for peace and stability in South Sudan. Under the slogan of proactive contribution to peace proposed by the Abe administration, we will continue to contribute to peace and stability for South Sudan, Africa and all over the world. Japan currently has 350 engineers serving under the United Nations mission. The Japanese government last year approved a new law expanding the role of the Japanese military serving in peacekeeping missions beyond engineering and logistical work.